Tonight, Eyewitness News has learned that the Indiana State Fair has disqualified more animals and punished more children for rules violations at this year's fair. Those animals tested positive for illegal substances. 13 investigates exposed this growing problem at livestock competitions all over the nation. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel has the latest results and what they mean. The Indiana State Fair just sent me its test results from the State Fair that ended last month. It shows again animals failed their drug tests, but the results actually include some good news as well. It's the culmination of hard work for thousands of kids around Indiana. The State Fair determines Indiana's very best sheep, swine and cattle, and being crowned champion is a big deal. But 13 investigates discovered in recent years some of the best have been disqualified for drugs not allowed to be in the animal system. Last year, all the top winners in the sheep category were disqualified for drugs. This is one of those contestants. She told 13 Investigates giving animals drugs to make them look bigger and stronger is not uncommon. It's everywhere. People do it all the time because they win. They cheat and they win. But the State Fair is trying to stop that by testing urine and tissue to try to find drugs and catch cheaters. This year's test results show the State Fair is taking action to disqualify four animals. One champion swine, one champion sheep, and two winning beef cattle. Among the drugs detected by the lab, promazine. It can settle an animal's nerves during a livestock show, but it is illegal to use in cattle. The four disqualifications for drug use is actually a big improvement from years past. At least 10 animals failed their drug tests in each of the previous three years, including several grand champions. This year's top winners were tested right away, and it was determined not a single animal selected for the celebration of champions was tainted with improper drugs. Relieved, very pleased. State fair officials say the decline in failed drug tests is no accident. More media attention and more education is paying off. There's a heightened awareness. The work that 4-H and the Indiana State Fair Board has done to um, make the 4-Hers aware of, uh, of the process and what our expectations are for the shows. We're very pleased. We thank the 4-Hers and, uh, and their families for following the rules. Overall, 317 animals were tested during this year's state fair. With four positives, that works out to only 1% of animals that were disqualified. Put another way, that's 99% of kids participating at the state fair who followed the rules and did things right. John and Andrea, back to you.